welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pancakes Legacy Challenge Generation 1 or welcome in if you're new. We've got Toma and Izumi partaking in some chess this morning. We're trying to get Izumi's skill up all the way to level 10 so that she can reach the final stage of her career and who better to practice with than her son. It is Father's Day today. I'm actually going to get Ivy to come and make a grand meal because... <laughs> Why is Peyton just eating vegetables from the fridge? You're so silly. But anyway, I'm going to get Ivy to come and make a big grand meal for everyone to enjoy tonight. We need to get ourselves a stand mixer because we don't have any prepped vegetables left in the house because this little munchkin ate them all. We are going to head to the rec center in the slopes today and just spend some quality time together as a family. That's all that Kyoshi really wanted to do. But first, we'll just complete these little tasks around the house before we head on out. Ivy decided to make omu rice, which looks delicious. We're going to pop that in the fridge for now. In this episode, I wanted to do a little more of the Reaper rewards. Ivy managed to take a bit off whilst cooking that recipe, but now she needs to cook a gourmet recipe while level four or higher. She is definitely not level four in gourmet cooking we're gonna grab a couple volumes of the gourmet cooking books and she is gonna go ahead and read those i think we're gonna actually take the first one with us to the rec center and i actually think everyone is ready to head out to that so let's go there now and have a fun day out we arrived in the mountains at the rec center. The kids do have a scouts meeting to head to in a couple hours, but they're just giving Kiyoshi his Father's Day presents. Do you like that one? Toma gave him a football. Peyton also got him a little present as well. So here you go, Kyoshi. Hey, I got you a flower from Izumi's garden. Oh, don't act like you hate it. Don't be like that. <laughs> we'll pretend that he loved it and he's very grateful to Peyton for getting him something. We'll also just be thankful because, you know, Kyoshi has done a lot for us and Toma is also going to be thankful to his dad as well. While the kids head off to their scouts meeting, we're going to head inside because it's quite chilly up here in the slopes. Yoshi is chatting away to some of the locals that must live around here. He is actually currently talking about his job. I think he is quite a well-known politician and he is curious to hear about what the residents of Mount Conrabi want from the local government and what policies he can put in place and what they enjoy already in place. He is also going to be asking for a couple of donations from these sims. Hopefully we can get another donation and then he'll be well on his way to getting a promotion at work. Izumi is currently knitting right beside him, listening in on the conversation. She looks really proud of him. She knows that he takes a lot of pride in his work, but she's currently making Toma a present because in Izumi's generation, she needs to knit gifts every time there is a birthday in the family and she hasn't done it yet so she's just making a little something for him for when he comes back from his scout meeting. She wanted to do it sort of quietly so that it could be a surprise for him. <laughs> While Ivy doesn't really have anything to do she is gonna research Ambrosia on her phone. She may as well write there isn't a lot up here for her to do to be honest. She's more of a techie girl and the rec center is very rural <laughs> so she's just researching different information she's like oh my god i really need to practice my gourmet cooking if i'm ever going to be able to make ambrosia here she has actually found a couple more sims to talk to i think he really enjoys his job and he doesn't mind doing things like this on his day off from work you can tell that he very clearly cares about the cause he's fighting for and everything that he does makes like a big impact. It seems as though he has managed to get the final bit of the donations that he needed so he will level up his career the next time he heads into work. Izumi is all done knitting and she's just dancing <laughs> but Toma and Peyton are both done with scouts now. I'm gonna get Toma to come in here so that Izumi can gift him a present. 
Here you go, Toma. Happy belated birthday. This is a little something that I've made for you. I hope you like it. We'll pop it up in his room later on once we get home. <laughs> Look at the kids watching their dad juggling the football. <laughs> I'm actually going to get Kyoshi to stop because I just wanted to take off a bit of his Father's Day once. But he's also just going to be thankful to his kids and just say thank you for my lovely father's day presents i really appreciate you two getting those for me you, you know you never have to get me anything i'm your dad i should be taking care of you yeah i think now the kids are gonna be like i really want to go outside and play so let's send toma and peyton to play on the pirate ship and then i'm also gonna get izumi to come and play sea monster Thankfully, Ivy is feeling much better and is slowly recovering from her illness. That's good to hear. Hopefully she has the stamina to come outside and play with the family. But I think after we are all done here, we will head back to the house and enjoy a nice family meal together. One that Ivy prepared for us earlier. And yeah, it's been such a lovely day and I think Kyoshi has literally had the best father's day ever. <laughs> All right, we are back home. Everyone's just gonna do little bits and pieces before we all gather to have a meal. Izumi's gonna fill up the cat bowl and then she's probably just gonna chill with Ivy at the table. I wanted Peyton to go and play on the monkey bars because that's what she wants to do for her aspiration. Let's come in and I'll we'll take a seat at the table. Izumi is going to call everyone to a meal and we're all going to enjoy this dinner together. Ivy has got work but she is still a bit ill so we're going to call in sick again. But we're having a nice evening together. Everyone is enjoying their food. It's kind of funny that no one's sat in the middle. It might be because of this arrangement to be honest. But I was like, oh, this is so delicious. Good job, Ivy. You made a really good omi rice. <laughs> Izumi's cleaning up, but I'm actually going to leave it for the children to do because they need to work on their badges a little bit. We're going to check the little boards upstairs in just a moment to see what else they can do this evening. Toma has completed his civic responsibility badge. He is also halfway through his sociability badge too. We also need to do some other things like good deeds, scholarly attitude, giving back, do our homework as that counts and then we can make some crafts as well. Oh, Whiskers is showing signs of growing old. If you're interested, Vet Clinic sell anti-aging treat that permanently halts the aging process. No, our little pet is getting old. Toma has finished his homework and we can show Kyoshi our report card. I think this must be a mod because I don't think I've seen it before. Aww. <laughs> so he showed his dad his most recent test scores and Kyoshi says, I'm so proud of you, honey. You are amazing. And Kyoshi has reached parenting level five from that as well. We're just wrapping up the day by doing a little bit of housework. Kyoshi she doesn't mind because honestly he's super family oriented and wants to make sure everyone is as happy as possible. I think we are gonna send everyone to bed as it is late now. But yeah, we'll get up bright and early. Toma is the first one awake this morning. I think now is the time to get that bike riding skill locked in. He's gonna use the bathroom and then we will head outside and get to practicing that bike riding. Peyton is also awake but she's incredibly, incredibly stinky. Everything in the house is broken so I think we need to do some repairs. And to be honest, we do with upgrading some things because stuff breaks around here a lot. Izumi doesn't mind repairing things. In fact, she has a natural talent in handiness. She finds it fun doing this. However, it is getting a bit tiring constantly having to repair every single thing in the house. Oh, it looks like Peyton is talking to one of her parents. 
and she says i've been doing homework for school but the last few assignments have felt really hard maybe i'm not smart enough to do this what do you think but it seems like what she kicked off about in the last episode is still bothering her quite a lot i think kyoshi is gonna say that you just need to spend more time trying to grasp the concepts you know practice does make perfect and i think what kyoshi's gonna do this morning and he's gonna walk her through some of the work that she has been struggling with so they've actually decided to do it in here in the office where it's a bit quieter but kyoshi is just walking her through the different concepts that she is struggling a bit with. He understands that she did have to miss parts of school and so it might be a bit harder for her to grasp these subjects but why don't we give Peyton a little bit of a hug and praise her for her efforts. So we'll encourage her recent behaviour and just say, you know, the more you keep at it, the easier it'll get. You are such a smart cookie that you'll get it in absolutely no time. You just have to believe in yourself, okay? Speaking of believing in yourself, little Tomo's out here still learning how to ride his bike. He's getting a bit hungry, so I might get him to stop soon to have a bit of breakfast, but I'm hoping that he will know how to ride a bike. Oh, I was hoping that this would happen today. All of our plants have finally grown, so we've got a fully grown dragon fruit plant now. We need to graft some snapdragons onto the dragon fruit plant to make a cow berry seed. So let's grab our snapdragons and let's graft the spiced garden shoot onto our dragon fruit plant and hopefully we will get ourselves a little cow berry seed. We just have to wait for this to grow, I think. Okay, okay, it's nerve wracking. <laughs> I did also go ahead and purchase Izumi some more rare seeds because we had a coupon for 75% off. So they were super cheap. I'm gonna open those now and see if we get anything cool. All right, I'm just having a look and it doesn't seem like you get anything new, which is very interesting actually. I thought that perhaps there would be more rare fruits and more rare plants, but I guess I was wrong. We are gonna get rid of these beans because we don't need them. And I'm also gonna sell the grow fruit and also the cherry trees. I'm gonna keep the orchids and the dragon fruit because they bring in a lot of money. We do also have another seed shaped gemstone, but again, I'm probably gonna get rid of that as well because we can't make money from the crystal creations, unfortunately. So we'll sell those. We just have to wait for this cowberry plant to grow in. Izumi is gonna lock in as well today and come and get her logic skill to level 10. She's got a couple days off work. Well, she's in work tomorrow. So if we just completely focus and get this skill to level 10, we'll be able to get a promotion at work tomorrow. Well, two more things that have broken, but we need to come and tell Blueberry off for drinking from the puddle. She had a premonition that Kyoshi was going to come and tell her off and she's run out of the <laughs> bathroom. Oh dear. Okay, we're just going to have to hire a repair service because Izumi is busy today. Tim was all done riding his bike, but he is still annoyed at the fact that he can't quite grasp the skill he's treating himself to a big slice of pizza for lunch <laughs> it's well deserved honestly toma you've been practicing really hard i'm hoping that you can learn to ride your bike soon enough oh the kids have another scout meeting in about an hour's time i actually want toma to collect his badges before he goes yeah we've got the civic responsibility badge so he's gonna grab that and hopefully be promoted oh and Peyton also got one she's got the scholarly aptitude badge so you come and grab that before you head off to your scout meeting as well there we go both our babies have been promoted to Rafon scout they need to earn two more scout badges before they become unicorn scouts off he goes look at him in his little scout uniform so cute and Peyton as well <laughs> right i'm sick of everything being broken so we have asked mark if he can upgrade a lot of the stuff in our house he is more than happy to um because he is quite handy he knows all about this kind of stuff oh a buttery barter the scouts are selling cookies of course while out in the neighborhood Peyton happens to notice that the selling price seems a bit lower than she remembers the troop is trying to raise money for new fishing poles so they don't have to take turns anymore. What should Peyton do about it? 
I don't think she really cares about like sticking to the rules. She's like, well, they were more before, so I'm just going to charge them at the same price as they were last time. And Peyton has been caught red handed. A fiscally observant old woman notices that the scout troop she met yesterday was selling their cookies at a notably lower price. She spread the word to the whole neighborhood that Peyton's cookies were a bad value. Uh oh, so it didn't work out too well for Peyton this time. She'll have to be more careful about what decisions she makes. So she's got a tense <laughs> moodler here that says, Who knew scouting decisions could hold so much weight? The kids are back from their scout meeting. Roma is feeling confident once again and he's going to tackle riding this bike. Peyton has come out to play for a little bit because for her aspiration she needs to reach level 5 of the motor skill and then we'll pop her on the computer so that she can practice typing. Izumi is up here pondering away about different moves. I'm going to get Ivy to join the game just so Izumi's got someone to talk to, but she's so close to reaching level 10, I feel like she'll be able to do it today. Yay! Toma has learned to ride his bike. He can now ride around and travel on any child-sized bicycle. Good job, Toma. You can stop now because you are very, very tired, <laughs> but you've done such a good job. Oh! He, oh wow, he is zooming away. Okay. And his leg is broken. What is happening here? All right, let's reset you. We're back in our house. Toma is going to feed poor Whiskers because he is starving and also clean his habitat. We need to talk to him a little bit too. Toma's definitely going to be sad when Whiskers passes on, but he does understand that, you know, pets aren't forever. Yoshi and Izumi are flirting away out here. <laughs> You know what? You two deserve to have some fun. Let's head upstairs and try on some of these costumes. I want them both to try on like a flirty one this time. <laughs> it's been a long while actually since they've spent any quality time together or even woohooed or anything like that. So why not while the kids are all busy doing their own thing? Um, let's have some fun. Kyoshi, pop on a random flirty costume <laughs> and I'll get Izumi to do the same. Are you Cupid? And Izumi is a wrestler. Oh my god. <laughs> Aww, they have just gotten a new family dynamic of close. Yeah, I think they are. They have been lovers for a really long time and they know everything there is to know about each other so I do think that they are really really close. We'll go ahead and get them to woohoo now and I'll leave them to have their fun in their matching costumes. Now they've had their fun, Izumi is once again locking in. She's so close to getting this to level 10. And then once she's done that, she's going to go and grab herself some food as she's been hungry for quite a while now. There we go. Another maxed out skill to add to our repertoire. Izumi has mastered the logic skill. You can go ahead and stop that now, dear. You have worked very, very hard to get to that level. She's going to come and use the bathroom, get some food and then have a nice early night because she definitely deserves it. Good morning. Ew, this toilet gets so dirty. <laughs> That's disgusting. Koshi, clean that up. If you make the mess, you got to clean it. So I think everyone's got work in school today. Koshi's got work in three hours. It's looking like we're getting a promotion. Izumi's got work in four hours and we're definitely getting a promotion as well. Just noticed there is a glass hidden in the wall. Destroy that. Toma and... Toma and Peyton both have school. They are just sorting their needs out before they go, but I don't know if they'll have a chance to get everything fully sorted. And hopefully they have a good day at school today. They both actually completed their homework for once, so I am hoping we can get them to level up a little bit because at the moment they're both just B and C students, but although their parents aren't super strict, they do want them to do well in school. 
and I have a feeling that Toma is starting to want to follow in his dad's footsteps. He really looks up to Kyoshi and he thinks he's literally the coolest person in the whole entire world. Everything he says is super cool and true and right and his dad is just his idol and he is now like starting to understand what he what his dad does for work and oh we do live together <laughs> i'm gonna say i don't think now is the right time also mark is sick oh it's not strained okay hang on let me get rid of those sentiments okay i removed the sentiments obviously because we are playing a challenge we can only have a certain amount of number of sims in house and we can't add mark to the family um which is a bit annoying because obviously ivy deserves happiness too but he's just staying over as a stay over guest like all the time at the moment we're actually going to gift him some medicine and hopefully that will make him feel better hey good mark Anyway, as I was saying, Toma is at that age now where he's starting to understand what exactly his dad does for work. And I think Toma's like, that is so cool. He fights every day for people in need. That's something that I want to do when I'm older. And so Toma's starting to get it into his head that he needs to do really well in school because he's heard his dad talk about it before, how hard he had to study to get into law school. And Tom was like, okay, I'm going to start doing all my homework whenever I can. And I'm going to learn as much as I can so that I can do a job like dad does. He's off to school now. And yeah, I'm excited for everyone to head off actually, because today is just going to be like lots of big things happening for everyone. Oh my god, wait, Izumi didn't go to work yet, but she's been promoted to PhD of Pollen. Izumi will now make an additional 512 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 651 per hour. She got a bonus and also something called a blemish blossom. And her next shift is at 11 o'clock. So they rang her up and they were like, hey Izumi, we couldn't wait to let you know. We're going to tell you now before you come in that you have been promoted you are now you know the head of the company you have worked so hard and oh my god i can't believe it she is feeling very inspired from moving on up she is just incredibly happy and you know what? i am so happy for her as well oh my god toma has just completed aspiration as well whoa he did that so quickly so he'd already achieved level five motor skill already achieved level six mental skill and he just had to go 12 hours out a negative need moodlet so we've been taking good care of him and he's completed his aspiration toma has just achieved his childhood dream of honing both mind and body to work together so he earned a trait called headstrong focused and confident moodlets will last longer Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I rarely complete childhood aspirations because I'm usually focused on finishing the parents' generation. So I'm so glad that we managed to finish this. Ivy has come to talk to Izumi in the greenhouse. I think she just wants some advice on how to obtain the death flower. So we need to take a cutting of an orchid plant. Luckily, we've got Izumi, who is a pro gardener and has lilies available because I didn't realize, and also a pomegranate tree. I didn't realize that we would need those things for the death flower. I don't think I've been paying proper attention to this rewards quest. But we've gotten a cotton of our orchid plant. We just need to graft it onto our pomegranate plant to create a death flower plant. So let's head on over here and graft this spliced shoot onto the plant. Ivy is going to come over and watch Izumi do her work. And Izumi's like, that's how you do it. We have now made a death plant. Oh god, this is exciting. We've got a little pop-up here that says unfinished assignment. When Peyton gets to class, she realizes her timeline is due. The one she was supposed to start weeks ago. She eyes a stack of paper piling up on her teacher's desk. All she needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does she try to copy her classmates or confess the truth? I feel like Peyton has been getting into a lot of trouble at school at the moment. And she knows it's not her fault, but she's getting really sick of it. So I think she's going to say to the teacher, there's been a lot going on at home. Obviously her school is aware that she was in the care system and now she's moved into a house with a family. They should be a bit more understanding, so she's just going to tell the truth. 
Peyton's teacher commends her for the honesty and gives her a one-time extension. She's allowed to get done in a short time, but at least she gets a second chance. So I think she is understanding that as long as she's honest with everyone, she's open and she strives to do the right thing, most people are going to be understanding and she has managed to get a second chance out of that, which is good. All right. Izumi is going to head off to work shortly and then we'll just be at home with Ivy, who is going to take it upon herself to water Izumi's garden. I'm going to get her to work on her gourmet skill today. I'll probably come back once Kyoshi is home from work and once the kids are back as well. The kids are back and Tomo has been working hard and is now a grade school A student. Good job! And they've both returned home with school projects so you know what that means. Let's pull it out and start working on it. We are gonna... Uh, I guess we'll work carefully this time and also get Peyton to pull hers out and she can work sloppily because she's never had to do anything like this before. Guess who's back from work and got himself a promotion? Kyoshi has been promoted to charity organizer. He will now make an additional 25 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 123 per hour. He received a bonus, a new interaction, and some new clothes. All right. Oh god, I'm so proud of these two. We've currently got Sota over and he is helping Peyton with her school project and we've also got Izumi helping Toma out too. I do think though that this is where I'm going to leave the episode for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and let me know in the comments if you did, what your favourite part was and leave a little like as well to show me that you enjoyed it. If you're new, feel free to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to be notified about my next upload and I'll see you in the next one. Take care friends, bye!